Hello, I'm Rachel Jones through the Finance News Network. Joining me today from Novonics is Managing Director Philip Sambaker. Philip, welcome back to FNN. Thanks for having me, Rachel. Good to talk to you. You too. Now, Novonics is at the cutting edge of battery technology and storage. Can you tell us more about this? Sure. Novonics is a company with two primary uh, businesses in North America. One is uh, called Pure Graphite, where we are bringing a high-performance battery anode material to the lithium-ion battery market, really focused on uh, long-life applications such as electric vehicles and energy storage for renewable energy. So that's uh, uh, one main focus uh, out of the USA. The other one is a business that we run out of Canada, which is a battery technology uh, business where we sell uh, leading battery testing technology to accelerate battery R&D around the world. Uh, and we also provide battery R&D services. Thanks, Philip. Now to your patent for battery manufacturing that has got the market excited. Can you tell us what your research partnership in Canada has discovered? Sure, we've got a, a partnership with Dalhousie University and specifically it's with Professor Mark Obravak and uh, his battery research team there. Um, we established this in October 2018, so it's been running for not quite two years. Um, but it, uh, the team there has done an outstanding job to deliver some really exciting uh, new technology in battery materials and battery man materials manufacturing methods. Um, and the, the most recent announcement that we made was uh, what we call dry particle uh, microgranulation, but cutting it short, it's a technology that they uh, have invented and we've filed patents for that potentially can significantly reduce the cost of battery materials. And, uh, and this is important because battery materials represent 70% of the cost of the battery. So inventions that can impact the cost of battery materials can impact the cost of the whole battery uh, industry and it can impact the adoption rate of electric vehicles and renewable energy. So the flow on effects are huge. And uh, so it's very exciting technology. Um, it's uh, not only potential to lower cost su substantially by essentially eliminating waste, uh, but to also do it in a, a lot more environmentally friendly manner. And given the significance of DPMG, will this require a change to priorities? For us, uh, not really. Um, our priority is delivering better materials and lowering the cost of the manufacturing of those materials. So this, this invention uh, and uh, is right in line with that focus of our business. So the priorities are not changed. And you mentioned the growth of the company there, Philip. Can you tell me how are you funding this growth? We have uh, a number of sources of funding that we've been uh, using up to this point. Um, we, we raised $5 million in March, so we've, we've just put a recent injection of cash into the company. Um, and given that was right um, when COVID was announced, uh, we, uh, we put that money in the directors, myself, other uh, co-directors, uh, and uh, a fund associated with my family basically funded that money just so that the company can uh, keep going at full pace without delay. Um, but going forward, we, um, we will have uh, requirements to bring more money in to build factories to meet our customer requirements. And uh, we'll, we'll be looking to explore all sources in relation to that funding, but uh, we believe debt funding will play a significant role in that because we plan to have uh, multi-year uh, large contracts with global brand names and um, to underwrite our future uh, factories. And to the last question now, Philip, where would you like to see the company by the end of the year? At the end of this year, I would like to see uh, our company will be delivering um, new product to our first foundational customer, which is Samsung in Korea. Uh, so they've signed up to uh, buy our, our new pure graphite material manufactured in the USA. Um, so that's probably the most exciting part is that we're, we're now producing inventory um, to meet that contract. Um, first deliveries will commence in October. Uh, so that's all very exciting. We also signed an agreement with Sanyo, who's another major global player in this space, um, who have a large uh, factory, uh, factories around the world, in fact, but also in North America, um, where we are collaborating with them on a, on a potential supply uh, to them as well. So I, I would look for news around 
our Samsung contract, us delivering to Samsung, uh, and also where we're headed and updates on our collaboration with Sanyo, um, as a start anyway. It all sounds very exciting. Philip St. Baker, thanks so much for the update. Thanks very much for having me, Rachel. Have a good day.